Hello everyone, today is discuss about BSc first year that is first semester paper 1 that is paper name is mechanics of a particles. Today is discuss about the topic is rigid body rotational kinetic relations. So kinetic relations discuss So this is rigid body is a topic is rotational motion and rotational kinetic relations and rotations with constant angular acceleration angular uh, between the translation and rotational kinetic relations and rotational between linear and angular momentum and uh, equation of the motion of a uh, rigid rotating body. So, these are the uh, discuss about this topics today. So, first of all rigid body, what is the rigid body? So, a body which does not undergoes any change shape or size by the application of external force is called the rigid body. Rigid body means that is any uh, objectives or any body which does not undergoes any change. And any rigid body this that is applicable to the uh, external force. External force apply chase na guda shape logani size logani uh, elanti changes run at like the rigid body ananta. Okay, a rigid body which does not undergoes any change in shape or size by the application of external force is called the rigid body. A rigid body is that body in which the distance between the constituent particles remains constant in all conditions. The particles only minutes oscillations or vibrations about their mean positions. Okay? The motion of a rigid body may be considered as the two types of uh, bodies. So, one is the uh, translatory motion and another one is the rotatory motion. Translatory motion is also called the uh, linear motions and uh, rotational motion is also called as circular motion. Okay, a rigid body is only an ideal concept and cannot be realizing if in practice. So, here uh, rigid body is the one example, a square shaped scale slide and inclining plane its motion is poorly translational. The motion of a flywheel fixed position is only rotational. So, rotational about its own axis where sphere roll on the inclined plane it slides as well as the rotation and thus its motion is a combination of the two types of the motion. So, you know everyone uh, what is the rigid body? Rigid body which does not undergoes any change shape or size. So, by the external force, any object to me the external force apply chase in a coda, shape logani, size logani, manaki, et one different change gana tlete than the rigid body got incident just them. Example ga manaki, oka iron ball this kuna pudu, than me the external force apply chase in a tlete, iron ball lo konta shape ane the anti interior ga konda, external ga konta change out on So, that is not a rigid body, complete rigid body. Rigid body is the only an ideal concept and cannot be realized in practice ok. So, manaki general ga, uh, a rigid body is that body in which the distance between the constituent particles remains constant in all the condition like molecules and gas these are the particles remains constant in all direction ok. The particles only minutes oscillations or vibrations about their mean positions ok. These are the uh, rigid body. And rigid body is the motions of two types. So, one is the translationary motion and another one is the rotational motion. Translationary motion of is its center of the mass and rotational motion of the its particle around the center of the mass that is called the uh, translatory motion and rotatory motion. Rigid body is using only uh, rotatory motion. You know translatory motions already uh, last class lo manam discuss yes kunamu. today uh, rigid body is the rotatory motion ok. So, these are the examples of the rigid body and another one rotational kinetic relations. So, e rotational kinetic relations in the rigid body mean that depend on Let us consider this is the one of the rigid body. So, that is consider a rigid body, this is the rigid body, e rigid body about an axis passing through the center O and perpendicular to this plane that is OP plane. So, this is the XY plane, this is the opposite of the direction, another uh, direction or anticlockwise, this is the uh, opposite direction of the Z axis, is that is the XY plane key is perpendicular to the Z axis. A plane of the rigid body that is at a right angle to the axis of the rotation as shown in this figure. So, OP is the 
that is the p is the particle then x axis is uh, rotated to the anti clockwise direction this um, particle so that is the displacement of s and the op is the distance of the r that is the position vector and one particle is x axis to the move to the anti clockwise direction that is the displacement this is the distance of the displacement that is the symbol of s okay this is angular displacement is s this is the angle of theta so, to locate at this particle, we require two coordinates that is, one is the position vector and r and angular is theta. So, for different particle in this plane or the rigid body, values of r and theta will be different. Uh, now, kinetic relations is observed. So, the kinetic relations means angular acceleration, these are all uh, discussed now. This is the kinetic relations of angular displacement. Let us consider angular displacement is the symbol of theta. So, let uh, theta be the angle. So, here you can observe that this figure the angle of the theta rotating in uh, x axis to the particle is rotated in the, the anti clockwise direction. This is the displacement of the linear displacement is s and position vector op is the distance is r and that is the displacement and uh, r r and um, s that is the angle between the theta. So, here within time let us anti clockwise direction in a time t let s b is the uh, linear displacement and r is the radius of the circular path the angular displacement is defined as the ratio of the arc length and radius of uh, particle that is r mm, this is the circular path is given by angular displacement theta is equal to s by r. So, s is the displacement and uh, r is the radius and position vector also theta is equal to s by r. So, angular displacement is the units of the radius ok and next one is angular velocity is the uh, symbol of omega. This is the rate of change of the angular displacement is called the angular velocity. So, omega is equal to dt theta by dt. Angular displacement is the symbol of theta. So, you can write d theta by dt. The rate of the change of the angular displacement is called the angular velocity. Omega is equal to d theta by dt. What is the angular velocity? Units is the that is radius per second. This is the displacement that is the radius and within a time. So, time is uh, units is seconds. So, units of the angular velocity radius per second and another one angular acceleration. This is the symbol of alpha. So, that is the rate of the change of the angular velocity that is called the angular acceleration. Angular acceleration alpha is equal to d omega by dt. So, omega is the angular velocity. So, that is the d omega by dt. Omega means d theta by dt. You can write omega is equal to d theta by dt. So, differentiating again. So, d square theta by dt square. So, uh, uh, angular acceleration alpha is equal to d square theta by d theta square. What is the units of angular acceleration? Radius per second square. So, here you can d square ga bate, So, that is units of seconds square. This is the angular acceleration. Once again, I can explain that is uh, this is the x axis. One is the particle is within a time t seconds after this reach this particle. This is p. So, this is the displacement of s and within an angle of theta and position vector op is equal to r distance. So, this is the angular displacement theta is equal to s by r. You can write. Okay. So, this is the theta equal to s by r angular displacement and angular velocity is the rate of the change of the angular displacement is called the angular velocity omega is equal to d theta by dt again and angular acceleration is the symbol of alpha alpha is equal to the rate of change of the angular velocity is called the angular acceleration that is d square theta by d theta square radius per second square these are the kinematic relations. Okay. So, next uh, rotations with constant angular acceleration. Rotation with constant angular acceleration, the simple type of the rotational motion is that in which the angular acceleration that is alpha is equal to 0 or a constant value. If the particle is rotates about the fixed axis with the constant angular acceleration alpha, the equation of motion is uh, a particles is called omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha theta. So, theta is equal to omega naught t plus alpha uh, half of 
1 by 2 alpha t square and omega square minus omega naught square is equal to 2 alpha theta. These are the motion of the particle equation. Now, we prove that this equation, you know everyone linear uh, translation and rotatory, this is only axis for anga rotate out on napudu, manaka angular acceleration gaane, angular uh, velocity gaane, angular um, uh, displacement gaane, find out just kuna. What nunchi manaki even relations anity form of adan jarutundi. So, this equation is motion of the particles, omega is equal to omega naught. Now, we these are proof now in next step. So, uh, here omega is equal to angular velocity and omega naught is the uh, initial angular velocity and theta is the displacement and alpha is the angular acceleration. These are the symbols of here. So, now we this 1, 2, 3 equations now we prove that. First one is we, we can prove now you write the angular acceleration. You know angular acceleration the rate of change of the angular velocity alpha is equal d omega by dt. So, you can write d omega is equal to alpha into dt both sides integration applying then now d integration of d omega is equal to integration of alpha dt. So, you can write a differentiating integration is cancelled that is omega is equal to alpha into uh, with respect to t that is, that is 1 alpha is the constant and integration of dt 1 is the uh, uh, different uh, integration value is the t. So, plus c 1 that is c 1 is the integral constant. So, he can write now c 1 is proof that. So, the uh, c 1 value is we can find out that the equivalent of the constant of a integration that is c 1 let omega is equal to omega naught at a, at a time t equal to 0 that is the initial condition. So, now we can substitute t is equal 0 and omega equal to omega naught. Now, we can write omega is the value is omega naught alpha into t, t is the this value is 0 plus c 1. Now, we prove c 1 is equal to omega naught. So, c 1 value is substituting in this above equation that is omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. Now, c 1 uh, value is uh, in this equation right uh, omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha theta. So, this one is prove that first equation is omega equal to omega naught plus alpha t can prove that and another one and this equation is proof using angular acceleration formula and another one second one. Now, second one is proof uh, to obtain the angular displacement theta of the body with respect to O x axis at any instance of time t we can write in equation 1 differentiating uh, with uh, respect to t. So, now this equation omega equal to omega naught plus alpha t you can write omega is means that is angular velocity is equal to d theta by d t. So, d theta by d t you can write na, is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. So, now both sides in uh, d t is multiplication that is d theta d t d t is cancel and d theta is equal to omega naught d t plus alpha t into d t. So, now uh, both sides integration applying. So, integration of d theta is equal to omega naught into integration of d t plus alpha into integration of t into d theta. So, now differentiating integration is also cancel that is we can write theta. Theta is equal to omega naught into with respect to t. So, now you could here t plus alpha is the constant and t is the integration. Integration of x is equal to x square by 2. You can write in uh, t also. Integration of t is equal to t square by 2 plus c2. c2 is the constant that is the integral constant. You can find out the c2 value and again uh, this substitute the value and you can get the second equation also. And now c2 is the integral constant. So, that a constant of integral uh, c2 value then can find out let us consider theta is equal to 0 and at a time t equal to 0. Then c2 value you can find theta is equal to 0 and theta uh, equal to 0 seconds you can write this term c2 equal to 0. So, now that is theta is equal to omega naught t plus alpha t square by 2 that is the second equation. Okay. So, theta is equal to omega naught t plus alpha t square by 2. Now, this is the second equation is proof that this is the theta equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square. Now, this is the second proof omega naught t plus alpha t square by 2 and again third one 
third one is proof now we can write alpha is equal to d omega by t this is the angular acceleration is equal to t the rate of change of the angular velocity so alpha is equal to d omega by dt so alpha is equal to d omega by dt into here you can write this d omega by dt equal write d theta d theta is a cancel and same uh, value d omega by dt is the value here d theta d theta is cancelled that is d omega by dt now d omega by dt into d theta by dt here omega is equal to d theta by dt so you now write this d theta by dt equal to omega omega into d omega by d theta so now this is d theta is equal to outside l net like alpha into d theta is equal to omega into d omega so now applying the integrations both side integration applying alpha into integration of d theta is equal to integration of omega into d omega so here differentiating integration cancel that is alpha theta is equal to omega square by 2 plus c3 so here uh, with respect to, to omega so that's why omega integration of omega square by 2 plus c3 c3 is the integral constant now we find out the c3 value and again substitute the c3 value so to determine the c3 value let us consider at uh, t is equal to 0 uh, theta equal to 0 and omega equal to omega not so now you can uh, this theta equal to 0 and theta equal to 0 omega equal to omega not substitute the above equation alpha theta not and this is theta theta is the zero so this uh, this term is zero and omega is equal to, you can write omega not so omega not square by 2 plus c3 c3 is equal to is equal to outside l net lete minus avutundi so c3 is equal minus 1 by 2 omega not square so now this uh, c3 value substituting in the above equation so you can write alpha theta is equal to omega not square by 2 minus 1 by 2 omega not square so now this is the 1 by 2 is the common uh, so you can write half of this is the lcm of 2 so 2 is, is equal to outside that is 2 alpha theta equal to omega square minus omega not square here omega square is equal to omega not square plus 2 alpha theta you can write omega square equal to omega not square plus 2 alpha theta this is the Uh, rigid body axis paranga rotate avutunnapudu so that is the rotational uh, motion lo maniki uh, these are three equation of this motion of the particles omega is equal to omega not alpha t and theta equal to omega not t plus 1 by 2 alpha t square and omega square minus omega not square is equal to 2 alpha theta these are three equations used in angular acceleration angular uh, velocity and angular uh, displacement equations is used in three equations is prove that that is the omega square minus omega not square is equal to 2 alpha t theta also so and next topic is analogs between the translatory and rotational kinetics you know translatory motions and rotational kinetics now rotational kinetics is uh, then axis paranga rotate avutunnapudu oka rigid body ni iskone axis paranga rotate avutunnapudu manam uh, rotational kinetic values anedi find out chestunna another class lalo translatory kin uh, translatory kinematics anedi we already manam prove cheyadam jarigindi that is uh, linear motions linear acceleration linear velocity linear displacement these are all the uh, translatory Uh, uh, kinematics now this is relation between the translatory and uh, rotational kinematics there exist close analog between the uh, parameters characterizing rotational motion with constant angular acceleration and those of rotational motion with constant angular acceleration of a rigid body comparing these two equations rotational and translatory kinematics of a rigid body see now uh, these are all proof now this is one ok rigid body paranga ok axis paranga rotate avutunnapudu manaki rotational kinematics anedi find out cheyadam jarigindi so rotational motion is the circular motion is also and um, translation motion is the linear motion so now rotational kinematics is that is angular uh, velocity angular acceleration you know that is linear velocity and linear acceleration translatory kinematics so uh, rotational kinematics angular acceleration now we prove that omega is equal to d theta by dt and angular acceleration alpha is equal to d omega by dt and translatory kinematics is linear velocity 
v is equal to dx by dt. Now, we could have x is the displacement. So, dx by dt. So, acceleration that is a is the symbol of acceleration is the linear acceleration a is equal to dv by dt. Now, this uh, values is right del omega is equal to integration of alpha dt and del theta is equal to integration of omega into dt. Now, linear acceleration that is del a is equal to integration of uh, a into dt and del x is equal to integration of v into dt. These are the translatory kinematics, this is the linear velocity, linear acceleration and rotational kinetics, these are equation angular velocity, angular acceleration. Now, uh, the special cases of the constant angular accelerations and linear accelerations. So, alpha is equal to constant and a is equal to constant. This is the linear and this is the angular. So, now these are all proof now. Omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha theta, d theta is equal to omega t plus 1 by 2 alpha t square and omega square is equal to omega naught square minus plus 2 alpha theta and now these are all linear uh, displacement and linear velocity and uh, this is v is equal to v naught plus a theta and x is equal to v naught t plus of a t square and v square is equal to v naught square plus 2 a x. This is now uh, you can find out the theta value and now uh, here x is also find out this is the displacement angular displacement and linear displacement linear displacement x is equal to v naught plus v by 2 into t so theta is equal to omega naught plus omega by 2 into t now this is the circular path rotatory motion that is the circular rotation so axis paranga oka rigid body ane teeskunna appudu axis paranga rotate avutunnatlaite that is uh, angular velocity angular acceleration angular uh, displacement and this is also you know everyone uh, last class lo manam oka translatory motion that is linear velocity linear acceleration and linear displacement values okay these are two comparing this equations okay these are very important formulas this is compared to so same e equally here uh, that is the symbol of omega and theta and alpha and uh, here v and x and uh, a these are the uh, translatory kinematics okay and next one is relation between the linear and angular kinematic for a particles in a circular motion. You know everyone the relation between the linear and angular. Now we discuss the linear and angular uh, kinematic relations. Okay. So, now this is the relation between the linear and angular kinematic. You know this everyone, this is the linear and translationary kinetics and uh, rotational kinematics that is uh, angular and this is the linear. So, now this is linear and angular kinematics for a particle in a circular motion. Let us consider one uh, rigid body that is the rigid body this is uh, let us consider one particle p in a rigid body that is the distance of the uh, r from uh, through the axis of the through the origin point that is op is the r that is the position vector and rigid body is rotating in x axis x y plane and this is the rotating the anti clockwise direction the rotation of the body this is particle is moves in a circular of the radius is r and num if in rotating through the angle is the theta this particle travels along the arc the distance is the s one particle is x axis lo rotate avutunnapudi this particle is the displacement is s angle is the theta and uh, radius is the position vector that is the distance is r also so here that is the uh, angular displacement s is equal to r into theta you know everyone that is theta value and uh, theta is equal to s by r s is equal to t into r so here you can write theta is equal to s by r and now s is equal to you can r into theta and differentiating with respect to t so uh, ds by dt is equal to r into d theta by dt r is the constant this is the distance of op is equal to r here now we can write the above equation is uh, what is ds by dt is equal to r into uh, d theta by dt means that is omega that is the angular velocity omega is equal d theta by dt so r into omega now you can write ds by dt means that is the displacement angular velocity is the rate of the change of the displacement that is ds by dt is equal to v you can write this ds by dt value in v v is equal to r into omega that is v is equal to r into 
omega. Uh, that is relation between the magnitude of the linear velocity and angular velocity. In differentiating in equation 1 with respect to 2t, we get dv by dt is equal to r into d omega by dt. Now, dv by dt means that is acceleration. You know, the rate of the change of the uh, velocity is called the acceleration. So, that is dv by dt is equal to acceleration. So, equal to r into that is d omega by dt is the angular acceleration. So, a t equal to r into alpha. So, that is the a t means that is tangential component of the acceleration of the particle and alpha is the angular acceleration of the uh, rigid body. The radial component of the acceleration of a particle moving in a circular path is given by a r is equal to v square by r is equal to nt that is v is equal to omega into r. You can substitute the value that is omega square r square r square r square is cancelled that is omega square into r. You can write this v value omega square r square that is r is r cancel 1 is r is here omega square into r a r is equal to into omega square into r. So, that is the radial component of the acceleration of the particle you know this is one particle is rotating anticlockwise let us consider p and this is the tangential component of the acceleration and this is the radial component of the acceleration of the particle. So, you can write this is the radial component of the acceleration is equal to omega square r and tangential of the acceleration a t equal to r alpha into r. So, this is the a r and a t. So, relation between the linear and uh, angular kinematics equations. Okay. Thank you.